what's up guys? Sinistalker here for a video video right here. It's a nice little just kind of hanging out with me at the pad kind of video. Um, the other day I was like, uh, I got a bunch of tapes in the, in the hallway like cabinet above like, like a little mini bar right there. And the, the bottom part came in because of the heaviness of the tapes. I'll show you right now. So I'm going to fix that up and support it and I'll show you what I do with it. You know what I mean? Then I'll put the tapes back and I'll kind of go with the tapes and also get some movie reviews toward the end of this video. I'm going to show you guys right now. At the, toward the end right there, some really cool stuff. So look out for that. And yeah, so I'm gonna be Mr. Bob Vila, Mr. Fix It up here to fix the situation. I'll show you guys right now what it is. All right, so as you go through here, you get like, there's like a little mini bar and there's like this, this uh, cabinet thing built up in there. So I put like, I put like VHSs up here, but the weight of them uh, collapsed the bottom part of it right up here. So it's supported right now. So yeah, the heaviness of it all right there. So I'm just gonna get these like little, I don't know what they call it, it's like L, L beams. So I'm gonna put these like, you know, in here to give it the support. And it should be fine after that. But so I'm gonna do a little Mr. Mr. Fix It stocks. All this stuff fell, all these tapes. And I'll, kind of, I'll probably show some of them as I put them away and that kind of thing. So there's some down here in the bottom and all this stuff, all a bunch of tapes. And up here, just like these ones, like, I, might, I might put a beam right here too. Cause you see, it's kind of like a little bit sort of low. So I might put like one in the middle or something. I don't know, I'll see how it goes, but this should be interesting, and yeah, go from there. Quick side note thing, I just, I just got this in the mail for a review. Liam Hemsworth and Killer Man. Never even heard of this, but uh, just got sent to me to check out, like an uh, automatic review thing from uh, Paramount. I don't know when this really comes out. It looks like kind of a cool uh, crime filler. The cover, the cover looks pretty cool. That's kind of a neat look to it, the way it looks. But I just got that in the mail just like a little bit ago. I definitely got to get like, a little haircut, so I'm going to get that tomorrow right before Thanksgiving because today's Tuesday. So I'm gonna do on Thanksgiving Eve, I gotta get my hair cut and beard trimmed to get all lined up and proper and pretty. Oh yes, but anyway, a quick little side note. And the last video you saw was with my old buddy, Sean Cooler Phillips. And I got, I got a nice little amount of subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing to my channel. We had a nice talk with uh, Brendan on his um, um, uh, YouTube live video. So that was really good. And, and Sean and Brendan had a nice little talk right there. So that was cool on the way home from me and Sean's hunting video, movie hunting video. But a cool little fun thing with me and Sean, nice little update is that on February 4th, a movie me and Sean are in called Restricted Area will make a, a national release at Walmart. It'll be at the Walmart. I'll show you guys a poster for right now of the movie, what it looks like. Yeah, how cool is that? It's amazing. Like our, our buddy, our great friend Christopher Don, his uh, directorial efforts, he wrote the story and it had a, has a great release from Mill Creek. So how cool is that company I review for is putting out this DVD that me and Sean are in. We're in the movie for like the first 10 minutes. So it's super cool, like um, amazing. So me and Sean are in it. So if you watch the movie, you'll definitely see us in it. Like a backwoods slasher flick. Pretty dang cool movie too. Definitely proud to be a part of it. And it's just exciting. This is going to be out in all of the Walmarts. So look out for February 4th, a little over a month and a half from now. Almost two months. It'll be a, a release, so I'll definitely do a video of that. I just want to kind of let you guys know right there. But now let's get into the, let's get down to it and fix uh, the shelf. Hopefully, I, I could. I'm not much of a fix it guy, but I think I got this. All right, so I busted out the screws for those uh, for that fixture and the electric drill. These things always kind of make me freak out. So I'm gonna have to put a pop a pop a hole in the wall to do this. Hope I don't mess it up. But we'll go from there. Let's get down to it. All right, I got them on there now. <laughs> Hope they're okay. And what's, you know, so I'm gonna try to get, but it's weird though, cause there's like a, like a gap right here. So if it goes down a little bit, I think it should be fine. I don't know, but I think it's okay. We'll have to see, oh shit. Oh man, but yeah, so I got it right there. I'm gonna put, put these back and go from there. Put some of the tapes away, actually all of them, not some, <laughs> but that kind of shows some stuff as I put stuff. We had this thing since I was a kid, like 12, 13 years old. So I wanted to be a makeup artist when I was a kid. Had this thing, it's all torn up in the back, but it's like it's a bunch of random, like you know, it's tapes, things like that. Up in here, like because we're like 80s, like, like girl shows, like Maxie's World, that's kind of for the hell of it, Beverly Hills Teens, like goofy crap, and like New Kids in the Block, you know what I mean? Like, okay, and below that, you have like Gem and the Holograms, Commander Mark Draw Squad, remember that show, and then like. Up over here, you get some weird looking like, insane clown posse, Strangle Mania 2, and Strangle Mania 1, which is which is kind of cool. Like, you know, it's, you know, good stuff hosted by ICP. I had this since I was like probably like 97, like year 90, 1997. Goofy crap. 
my Mexican VHS section. I have some really cool artwork on him. Like they're pretty cool. Like look at that. You know, a lot of cool ones. Like this one right here looks pretty rad. Look at that. Love that artwork. Uh, so kind of putting those like in order, like little sections of stuff. Look at that. And that killer artwork. And I get this one too. Like cheesy fun. Look at that. That just looks awesome. Of course, you could have this classic. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the coming out of their shells tour, double feature, the making of also is on this thing. Love this tape so much. One of my prized possessions is this low budget masterpiece of cringe. It's so good, but yet so bad. But that's what makes it incredible. Um, but my buddy Brennan likes these ones, the Ninja Kids. These are kind of cool. Like I got the first one, it's that one. It's like kind of neat, cringy, like martial arts stuff. Little ninjas, like these are like my little ninja section, pocket ninjas and uh, sidekicks which is amazing I hope that gets a blu-ray release someday there's a bunch of random stuff like like blue marines ghost chase zelda it's a bunch of odds and ends you know that i have up here kind of going through this stuff and kind of reorganizing it as i do and you get these classics up here the popples you know go have some popples action and one of these ones has a live action one in it it's um this one has a live action one this is the one with the rare live action one right there which is so amazing like that that'd be great if i was on ever on a dvd or blu-ray like a weird cartoon like kid shows the live one's really strange but so cool so i got up there with my pet monster like the live action one of that i'll put that up there too super rad pretty rare tape also with vodka out of the way maybe after this i might need to need, need a drink you know what i'm saying but we got some teenage mutant turtles on vhs classic right there the cartoon had this tape since i was a little kid all these like this one too this one's fantastic. The Christmas one, so bad. This one, horrible movie, but it's cool. I kept, I gotta complete it. Get the cool like um, coupon booklet. Like you can say like coupons and stuff. It's like a weird coupon thing. And of course, Secret of the Ooze. And get the making of behind the shells of Teenage Mutant Turtles. Check that out. The second one, isn't that sick? Right, so here we go. Pretty much done now. Put the stuff in there. Hope it holds up okay. But kind of you know just did it like that. Almost like I had it before. Little tox, Toxie head with the Toxic Crusaders box. Garage Bell Kids thing. Old weird Ronald McDonald, Nickelodeon. Some packs of some old school retro cards. More retro cards. Just put some stuff out for the heck of it. Um, rock and Wrestling. Little that Crystal Pepsi. Uncle Floyd. Some retro Garage Bell Kid cards since I had it when I was a kid. So yeah, so there we go. I did it. Hope it doesn't break and go. Poof. Time will tell, but I think it's going to be okay. Now off to the movie reviews right about now. Off with it's from Arrow Video, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's up there like top 10. It's so great. It's the classic Robocop. Just got released today. This one on Blue uh, Blu-ray, you know, super great. You know, it looks amazing. You know, like a 4K restoration scan of this bad boy. Loaded up with amazing feature, uh, features. I'll show in better detail in a sec. But you got the, the new director's cut of the movie, uh, which is more gorier and longer than the original one. You also get the original the actual cut of this thing and loaded up with like commentary behind the scenes everything up in this thing if you're a robocop fan this is a beautiful limited edition set to get this I also have a steel book of this thing too which i believe is at best buy but this one right here is out for limited time i'll show you guys right now what it looks like inside it's super like looks awesome the nice looking uh case of this thing nice hard hardbound case there's a little better detail of the back of it as you can see this thing is like the ultimate edition of it up here. The Robocop, you know, the guy. Of course, everyone knows the story. You know, uh, Peter Weller plays like this uh, cop and he gets killed by this guy named Clarence Boddicker and he uh, comes back as Robocop by this uh, unit called OCP. He's in, 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 um, this, uh, his partner, by, played by Nancy Allen, says Murphy. His name is Murphy. And he starts to remember who he was. And he's held out in, uh, to see who killed him and stuff like that. Really great cyborg movie is this in the 80s. Gory at times. Really good makeup effects by Rob Bottini. He did the thing and stuff. Did this right up here. Super great movie. You get this awesome killer booklet up here. Look how thick that is. Great booklet. Um, all kinds of stuff in here of the movie of, of itself. Like good factoids. You know, get this. You know, like the guy's all melted and stuff towards the end of the movie, Ed 209, all this stuff, really good content. You get a poster of the new commission artwork and also the original one itself. I'll put it on your wall if you want. Here's what the contents look like inside. You get the um, regular director's theatrical cut. 
director's cut and the theatrical cut. And you get this cool little, um, oops, little sticker up here, property by OCP, you know, that kind of thing, Robocop. You get like some lobby cards and that kind of thing from the movie itself. This is a great addition. If you're like a fan of Robocop, this is definitely the addition to get. It's amazing. Super great. Looks fantastic on a Blu-ray. The 4K restoration scan looks amazing. Just classic good stuff. Can't highly recommend this enough. So good. Right next up here from Mill Creek Entertainment is this great set of the uh, bikinis with the Ultraman series is this one. Series 3 got it on Steelbook. I'll show you guys a little bit better the details inside. It's like the, uh, the third series of Ultraman right up here. Um, super good stuff. Ultra 7. Um, fantastic. You know, if you love Ultraman, this is fantastic. Just a great show. All kinds of cool fights with him and other people like robots and monsters and stuff like that. Nice, great uh, steel book up here. You have a really cool booklet up there. I'll show you guys what it looks like a little bit right now. But it looks real great. I love how Mill Creek is putting these out. They're so fun. Like, they're just super fun. Like, they're just great, fun, good shows just to watch. You know, it's just some good, you know, cheese, over the top monsters. Here's what the still book looks like. Beautifully done set. Um, check out that. It looks so cool. And inside, you get the discs itself all up in there. And they kind of stack up, all, up on each other, like you pop them out as one underneath. So it's a nice space in between each one so they won't get scratched up. But a really great job Mill Creek did with this set. Love how it looks. Super fun. So this is great. Still book edition of it. Super good. Out, out later this month. Good stuff right here. Ultra 7 Ultraman Series 3. Really, really good. And last but not least, a couple of great Blu-ray releases from Warner Archive Collections. There's some older ones coming out like a year ago, but I got sent to them to reviews. The ones I wanted to check out on Blu-ray look really, really great. Sorry for this one. Classic 80s flick is this. The Hidden up here. The cool one takes place in like the future of like LA. These, these, these uh, entities take over bodies and they turn into these like hideous creatures and cops fight them and stuff like that. And they're kind of, these things are inside the people's bodies like as the hidden. So it's like really cool. Fun one it stars uh, you know, Kyle McLaughlin in this thing. It's a good like sci-fi thriller, like a little bit of horror is this one. Really good effects. Here's the back of it up there. You get some really good special features of this thing, like no commentary track and that kind of deal up there. I remember I always seen this on only on videotape. I've never seen it on uh, Blu-ray. This is a great restoration scan. This thing looks super, super top-notch. Love it. Good one. Just I'd recommend out there to get is the hidden. The last other like oh a release about I think it was it came out like a year ago is uh, the classic. Leatherface. Some people don't like this movie. I really enjoy this one a lot. Text Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. Leatherface. The Saw is family up there. This one has a Ken Foray in this thing. A young Viggo Mortensen, you know, Lord of the Rings. He's in this thing also too right here. Film like in I think 89. Around the late, late, late 80s. Or no, 1990 it was filmed. It's a cool, like, you know, the, the Text Chainsaw Massacre story, you know, Leatherface. Killing people. Ken Foray's out there to try to it's like a hunter, and he's, he gets mixed up with uh, people that are getting kidnapped by the crazy, you know, Leatherface family and that kind of thing. It, it, I, think, I think it's pretty cool. Some people don't like this one a lot. I think it's kind of fun. I enjoy it. Some pretty good gore in it, some pretty good stuff. Some pretty good heavy metal music in this thing, too. And, that, like, and you get, like, Leatherface drives, like, a big old truck with, like, deer skins on it, like, a chrome skull. It's pretty rad. I definitely like this one. You have, like, a nice, nice good extras in this thing up here, too. Got a, you know, commentary by the filmmakers itself. Behind the scenes, some photo gallery. It was really great on Blu-ray. So that's it for my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed my little video of me you know, doing the shelf, fixing it up, and showing some of the old tapes I have, and then kind of just doing some movie reviews right there towards the end. A nice little update of that cool flick me and Sean are in. Restricted area. Look out for that February 4th. I definitely cannot wait. And all you guys can pick it up out of Walmart near you nationwide. And probably other stores too might care. I'd be curious who's going to have it. So... Can't wait for that. Comes out in a couple months or so from now. But until then, hope you guys enjoy my channel up there. If you guys do, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below what you think, and I'll catch you guys later on the next video. My next video will be the Black Friday Madness video. I can't wait to check that out. It should be pretty cool. Let's go do it. Can't wait till then. Till then, I'll see you.